A dispute over legacy and land. That's happening right now on Hilton Island in South Carolina. Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. 93-year-old Josephine Wright is at the center of a lawsuit that's picked up attention nationwide. As development goes up around her home, she is literally in the middle of what developers hope could be a new home community. But for Wright, it's so much more. CNN's Diane Gallagher reports. We are connected to this land. Our blood runs through these trees. No matter what, we will keep this land. So well, this land's gonna be here with us if it's gonna be another 200 years. <laughs> That's the way we look at it. But not everyone has that same view. The serene marsh and sandy beaches of Hilton Head Island have been home to the Gullah Geechee community since before America became America. But today, community members say development threatens those families who still call it home. Why should we give up such a precious gift that God has given us? Josephine Wright has lived in this house on Hilton Head Island for 30 years. But she says her family's home has been on this land since the Civil War, purchased by freedmen and passed down for generations. Her husband, a Gullah descendant, wanted to be sure to keep the land in the family after his passing. I feel so much pride and comfort in knowing that this is where I will be for the rest of my life. But the 93-year-old great-great-grandmother has felt little comfort here over the past few months. This is when we start hearing the trees, the boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Wright is being sued by a company with plans to build 147 three-story townhomes along this Jonesville Road community, a historic Gullah Geechee neighborhood. Our blood, sweat, and tears are in this land. My ancestors are buried here down at the end of the road. Today, construction is closing in around Wright's modest home. Have has the developer at any point come to you to speak face to face about this? No, I've never spoken to any one of them. They have never knocked on my door. She says about five years ago, a woman did ask her about selling the land to an interested anonymous buyer for $39,000. And I said, you are insulting my intelligence. And would you give them that message? She says her first communication with the company, Bailey Point Investment LLC, was being served legal notice, which alleges a satellite dish, a shed, and a portion of Wright's screened-in back porch are sitting outside of her property line, encroaching on theirs according to their land survey. The lawsuit seeks removal, plus just an adequate compensation for its loss of the use and enjoyment of their property and expenses related to delays in development. Bailey Point says that the corner? That little corner is on their property. So the issue is that corner? Yes. Wright has filed a countersuit alleging Bailey Point and their affiliates are using harassment and intimidation tactics to pressure her off the land. Now, Bailey Point has filed a response denying any harassment as well as any previous offers to purchase her land. She has received an outpouring of support and donations, even from celebrities like Tyler Perry, Snoop Dogg, Fantasia, and NBA player Kyrie Irving. The town of Hilton Head just announced it is pausing all construction in line with their town code, refusing to issue Bailey Point building permits until the lawsuits are resolved. But Josephine Wright isn't alone in her fight. She speaks to the Gullah culture and the Gullah desire to fight back. Luana Graves Sellers runs a nonprofit called the Low Country Gullah Foundation, focused on helping prevent land loss in the Gullah Geechee community. Her nonprofit estimates that since Hilton Head Island became a vacation destination after Mainland Bridge was built in the 1950s, the Gullah Geechee have lost nearly two thirds of their acreage, mostly due to rising property taxes and problems with something called heirs' property. How pervasive is that on this island now? It's pervasive here but it's pervasive throughout the South. And unfortunately, heirs' property is the primary way that black people in America are losing their land. Heirs' property is a type of land ownership where a single property may be inherited by multiple members of a family for generations after the original owner passes away. But there's often a lack of clear legal documentation, making families vulnerable to land loss when there are disagreements within the family over selling. In some of these cases here, the land is being purchased by developers. Just look at this. 
This is one of the most peaceful areas. And lost by the Gullah Geechee. But in the case of Josephine Wright, she's standing firm on her ground. Well, let me put it to you this way. I've never backed down on, a, on anything that was right. Now, on the past couple months leading up to this week, CNN has repeatedly reached out to Bailey Point Investment and really anyone that we could find associated with the project. A named developer did respond, telling us that they're not the developer of the, excuse me, a named organizer did respond, telling us they're not the developer of the project, but rather an investment company that financed the deal. But look, we've reached out to lawyers for Bailey Point, we've reached out to the architect, even the engineer for the proposed subdivision. None have responded. Meanwhile, Josephine Wright says that she plans uh, to continue this fight. She wants her 40 grandchildren, 50 great grandchildren, and 16, soon to be 17, great great grandchildren to enjoy that property until they're 93 years old.